Hello, Futoshi. Hello. Um, can you start by introducing yourself? Sure. Um, my name is Futoshi Miyagi. I'm an artist. I also work at this workshop called Utrecht. Art workshop called Utrecht. And I'm also a member, com committee member of the Tokyo Art Book Fair. Okay. And um, can you tell us about uh, your zines and what we can find um, in them? The fun is called Ose. Um, I've been making Ose with my friends in Tokyo. We are three of us myself, Eiki Mori, and Kotori Kawashima. We have another member, but he left. But we also invite guests to contribute their works for this thing, for the thing. We've been made three of them, but we're hoping to make another one this year or next year. Okay, so it's like irregular <laughs> when you have enough material or time. Can you tell us about this issue, for example? Um, this is the first one we made in 2011. I guess it's kind of a uh, criticism that uh, it's focused on uh, representation of male sexuality in Japan. Mm -hmm. So most of the images inside, some of them are drawings, but are about Japanese males. Mm -hmm. So it has a strong uh, uh, autobiographical uh, Part in, in your work or in, or in this? Right. Uh, um, I guess that's only apparent in my part. Mm -hmm. I always uh, have texts mm -hmm. with my followers, so it's kind of like a diary or it's actually a fiction. But yeah. Oh, it's it's not <laughs> it's not entirely true. Okay. Um, some of them are, but. Okay, yeah, like you, you change history or, or you remix your feelings at the moment and, uh, and transform it, them in, into something else. Is this part of the American Boyfriend uh, project, yep. this contribution? Can you tell us about that? The project. Um, I started the project in 2012. And Okina, I'm from Okinawa, which is like south, southernmost part of Japan. And they have lots of American bases down there, and they are causing lots of problems. But so many people really they want the bases to be out. But I grow, I grew up there, but somehow. I was in love with American culture, so I went to the American study there for like five years, and then I came back to Japan, and the problem was still going on. And I began to ask myself why I loved America so much when they are doing bad things mm. in Okinawa. And I started to investigate the history of post war Okinawa, also about um, the say representation of homosexuality in Okinawa mm -hmm. and how they are they don't suffer in the history of post war Okinawa because I guess I thought that presence of military which is very masculine may be contributing to the fact that there are no like history about um, male and male relationship. Mm -hmm, you know. mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a, a, a story of a fantasy yeah. and uh, and mixed feelings <laughs> and also of a, a nationalism somehow and uh, the comparing cultures. Would you say that? Yeah. Okay. And one stupid question. When you were in the US, did you have a natural uh, American boyfriend? Uh, just for a brief time. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, because... And 
And how was it to, after all this um, fantasy that you had uh, during your childhood to go there? Um, I mean, first it was hard to adapt to the culture, but in the end, I really enjoyed being there. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you tell us about this uh, other uh, publication of yours? This is basically a compilation of my work since 2007 through 2012. Okay. So it's, yeah, but many of them deals with the problems all about now and so it's mm -hmm. kind of created the American Modern Project as well but all the images are accompanied with game text mm -hmm. but sometimes they're connected sometimes they're mm -hmm. not okay. So. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like my autobiography mm. oh yes yeah yeah it's both an, a monograph and an autobiography Okay, and um, Futoshi, wh why do you make these uh, publications? Um, <clears throat> as for us, uh, we wanted to make this because we don't really see many creations in Japan, mm -hmm. so we really wanted to have them out. Mm -hmm. And it was really fun. So it's uh, it's somehow it's uh, activism uh, um, for you. Statement, maybe? Yeah, yeah, a statement of, uh, yeah, okay. Because um, how, how is uh, homosexuality considered in, in, in Japan? Um, it's not that open. I mean, I would say things are getting better, but yeah. there are still lots of. Like, would publishing this kind of thing be considered as a bold? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's unusual, at least. I guess so. But it's kind of, it's not like serious, serious mm -hmm. stuff, so people are, people seem to enjoy them. Yeah. And, um, and now that I think about it, there's already a whole history of uh, um, homosexual representation in the yaoi, uh, uh, yaoi uh, mangas. But that doesn't have any anything to do with actual ho uh, homosexual. Um, that's a good question. <laughs> um, I do like some of them. Yes. Uh, but a lot of them must be full of uh, cliches, right? Cliches and fantasies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and can you tell us a, a bit more about this place and uh, yes? Uh, yeah, we are a bookshop in Tokyo, Shibuya. We moved here in 2014. Before we were in uh, Minami Aoyama, for that, in Nakameguro. So we've been moving okay. a lot. But... <laughs> is that why the counter is a crate? <laughs> <laughs> this is left by some American publisher after the art book fair. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great counter. I have to film it now. This is actually from Gagosha. From Gagosha? Wow, thank you, <laughs> Larry. <laughs> and that's the rest of the shop. We have a, a temporary exhibition here. back to you. <laughs> and there's a, a, one last question uh, I wanted to ask you about um, um, zine and the zine community. Um, is it a fairly uh, recent phenomenon in Japan or has there been an, uh, before that a, um, a history of uh, self-publishing? Yeah, I think there's a long history of self-publishing in Japan. Um, not art-wise, but there are huge, I would say, book festival by manga artists or mm -hmm. self-publishing artists who are 
Yeah, but they, they don't self-publish by choice. Like, for example, there's a lot of uh, zines being made in France by a comics artist, but when they find a, a real publisher, they, they instantly stop making zines. It's just a way to go, to step up. Um, do do Jinchi makers continue? Uh, I think they continue. Yeah? They, I mean, I'm not that familiar with I always wanted to go there, but it's... Really crowded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh yes. Is there a question that I haven't asked you that I should? <laughs> um, but maybe about the book fair. Yes. Um, so we started the book fair in two thousand nine. The Tokyo Art Book Fair. <laughs> I think New York Art Book Fair started two or three years before that. Mm. And I was interning at Music Matter when they started the book fair. So I experienced the first one in New York. And also, former director of the fair, he had been participating as you trained years, I think, and he wanted to have that kind of fair in Japan, and we started to discuss the possibilities, and at the time also, the self-publishing culture and artwork culture in Japan was kind of growing rapidly, so we, mm -hmm. want, we thought that was the right time to start the fair in 2009, and since then it grew Really quickly. Mm -hmm. And so do you have a, a, a zine section? Do you... Um, we don't really have career division. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are, but... Yeah, we have a section for zine makers and artists. We can we mm -hmm. offer like a half a table. Okay. For, Well, thank you so much, Futoshi. Thank you.